Hi, I'm Priyanka from Gizbot and today we are going to have a word with COI Director Journal SP Kocher regarding the financial health of the telecom sector and about the 5G. So, stay tuned. So, please tell us about the telecom industry situation. Telecom industry is uh, facing a problem in the financial aspect and yet they are wanting to go leaps and bounds and usher in 5G for the benefit of the uh, consumer. Now, this is a dichotomous situation which we've been bringing to the notice of the government all along. Uh, uh, we are bleeding and this is not uh, one operator who is saying it, all three of them uh, jointly have gone to the government and said that they need to do something to improve our financial health. And uh, that, that is where it stands. We are almost on a daily basis uh, uh, communication with the government on this aspect because this is becoming not dire. With 5G coming, uh, with more investments required, much more than what we ever required before. And considering the essentiality of 5G, uh, the sooner we address it, the better it is. Sir, if I'm not wrong, but, uh, telecom operators are looking for floor pricing, right? That right. is one of them. That is one of them. And one what of. other what other measures they are uh, they want government to take to improve the financial condition of the sector? See, we can only suggest some measures. Uh, maybe the government has many more measures which they can do. But what we've been asking them is floor price is certainly one of them. The second uh, one is that to reduce the taxes and levies revisit the taxes and levies uh, which they have been imposing so far especially in light of 5G coming in 5G is not the same technology as 4G and hence the ROI etc has to be looked in and it has to also seen as empowering technology rather than a telecom technology uh, it is going to empower all sectors without exception which will uplift the economy of the country which will give a fillip and uh, hasten up the uh, the you know implementation of the honorable prime minister's vision of digital india so that is uh, it is very essential that our financial health is improved there are other measures we have suggested uh, removal of bank guarantees and then we have asked them to revisit a license and maybe increase the duration of the license the license fee that we have obtained so with that means the spectrum is not being available for x number of years gets available to us for 2x or something of that nature. So indirectly that will help us. And the third and the most important thing we have asked them is uh, to look at spectrum pricing. The spectrum pricing is something that is staring us in the face. Even uh, 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 4G could not sell the entire spectrum. You know. You've seen almost more than half of the spectrum all went down. So uh, whereas there is a need of uh, in increasing usage of spectrum, improving network coverage, uh, but because of the financial viability, uh, people didn't buy the spectrum at the cost it was offered. With 5G, this is going to be more acute because ROIs are going to come much later. The cost of rolling out a network uh, because of various reasons has gone up. Uh, so everywhere the costing is going up and we don't see a breather in the financial aspect and therefore, we are really, we've got to back up the wall like When do you think that government will come up with something, uh, some reforms for the sector? Why don't you ask the government? It's difficult for me to say. You, you, guys are, you guys are actively in discussion with government. So, when do you think that the, by, by the financial year end, because uh, the condition of the sector is going, is really down right now. So, I can only tell you what we want. I can't tell you when it will come because that is not my prerogative, not nor am I privy to the discussions within the government. Uh, we would want it today. We want it as soon as possible because uh, uh, this, this is not something which is new. We've been at it for quite some time now. And um, I think the government should not look at it uh, fast track and see that it happens. Sir, what do you think about Supreme Court verdict on AGR issue when it comes to Vodafone idea? The company is already into deep financial crisis, and uh, the survival and their survival is uh, has become a big question. 
right so what do you think about that what do you think about it this is judicial system it is the norms of voting as we implement uh, but uh, having said that it is a voting that uh, 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 what upon has gone for a bit of and uh, if uh, you prefer to vote certain people believe uh, they may even go with a curator so the youth doesn't get that that doesn't resolve the problem uh, but from the policy point of view we certainly have a opinion that the Asia needs to believe it uh, whatever has happened has happened and uh, uh, Supreme Court has given a ruling which has not been stayed or altered so that depends on the uh, legal recourses whatever available to the companies uh, I suppose will be taken a uh, note of and uh, but going forward is more important and that is the definition of Asia needs to be uh, legal and it is an archaic definition which uh, I don't know why it was taken at that time but in property and disbanded sort of a thing will happen Now that we know that this is the type of thing that will happen, we have to deal with it. And uh, the recast is definitely so that we don't get into a deep in situation after a few days again. So several newspaper reports are claiming that Vodafone idea might file for bankruptcy if they cannot raise money, if they won't be able to raise money. So I need to know your views on the same. No, I have no insider information on this. I also read in the newspaper, but uh, today's newspaper says that Vodafone uh, has gone on record saying that they will not file for bankruptcy. So I think these are conjectures. Uh, I don't think any company will take a decision on this aspect till the time they exhaust all their evidence. Uh, it is premature for them to decide whether they will or they will not. But in any case, I have one. Sir, I need to know that telecom, uh, both Airtel and Vodafone uh, have increased postpaid plans, prices of postpaid plan. And do you think that they will, cover, they will uh, increase the prices of prepaid plan also and that particular increasing prices will help them to retain their push, position in, uh, in, in the industry? See, at this point of time, the most critical thing is uh, keeping Vodafone in the system. Okay, increasing prices by marginal amount is not going to help them. The monies which are involved are substantial monies which, uh, which will not get helped by just increasing the prices. It requires much more introspection by both the industry as well as the government uh, to see that uh, something uh, is done and uh, uh, situations of this nature require drastic action. And therefore, uh, uh, I'm sure the government would be serious of this and they would be doing something like this. I'm sure the company also is serious of that. Problem or the immensity of the problem, and they also know that just increasing the prices uh, of calls um, may bolster uh, their revenues to some extent, but it's not going to actually get them out of the net. So, 5G trials have been started in India, right? So, when do you think that auction will take place in India? The Secretary Duty has gone on record to say that uh, they would like uh, the rollout to happen in August. So, if you work backwards, uh, uh, and this is just conjecture, uh, uh, the, the trials should finish by the end of this year, and early next year, uh, the option should take, take place. This is, this is my take. Uh, no official confirmation yet. Yeah. Except that they are saying that the uh, government plans to roll out by the commercially by the of August. Anything you would like to share about telecom industry? Yeah, telecom industry now is not the uh, uh, telecom industry of yesterday years when uh, telecom is only providing uh, communication between individuals. They have now become an essential service. Yes. Can you imagine anything, anything whatsoever happening in this country or anything in the world uh, without telecom? So if that can happen, the government and uh, uh, the citizenry should look at telecom as an enabler, one of the biggest enablers for our economy. And in a march towards the five billion dollar economy, telecom plays a very, very crucial role. Uh, many people have articulated this, but then it has to be followed by action. Right? Uh, we need. Uh, uh, we have discussed in detail about uh, the, the financial help. We also need to be empowered to roll out networks. 
we are uh, the telecom industry is uh, wanting to roll out that but reach every citizen in the rural area also to good services but if you see uh, there are uh, some things that are happening and uh, uh, one of the major things that is happening us is uh, the state governments and the municipalities charging a very heavy fees against the advice of the central government which hampers the law uh, which does not uh, fit into a commercial network uh, so therefore uh, those things have to be looked at uh, i think uh, the duty is doing a lot of work on this and the pmo itself is uh, sees of this problem of the right of way problem and uh, things will work out even so this is this is one thing second thing yeah, is that uh, uh, there is a need of uh, you know uh, consolidation uh, telegram is a, is is a network which which uh, empowers other activities of the telegram for example if you look at dtx that rides on telegram but the ministry which handles uh, the communication aspects as well as the application aspects of dtx is another one. Not here. So our request to the government is that we should be in consonance with the times, and all those technologies with uh, communication, all those policies, and uh, the ownership of the entire communication related aspect should remain one agency, and that is you. The application, etc., the content, etc., how it is going to be used, that can be regulated by uh, different. Still, as the case may be, and that is increasingly going to happen. So, this is another uh, another thing that we have uh, requested uh, at the highest level uh, for the government to look at. Uh, so, hopefully, uh, uh, something should come out of it. But main thing is, please look at telecom as an essential service part of our life. It is like water and electricity, and if you may, it's like oxygen during COVID time. So, therefore. Uh, uh, Look at it in that manner and empower. You will get a lot of revenue from uh, applications and sectors which ride on that rather than the telecom itself. So look at the overall picture. Don't uh, 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 lose the mood for the things. Uh, be very pragmatic about it and empower. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you so much.